Hi, how are you? Welcome to the Tehillim Army. Thank you very much. And it's an honor to be with uh, Yomar Tziri and with all of the children, the incredible kids of the Tehillim Army. And uh, the little uh, movie that you just sh saw of the Yeshiva Schachme Lublin was one of Rav Meir Shapiro's great dreams. He was, a, he was a dreamer, what we call a visionary. You know, some people, they have ideas, but they don't do anything with it. When Rav Meir Shapiro was the age of you children, he had an experience. Ramey Shapiro's mommy said that they had to move many times in their life. They had to move from city to city to city. And she was very concerned that her little boy, Mayer, should not miss out time from his learning. So every time they moved, she arranged that when they get to the new city, there should be a Rebbe there to meet them so that he could be taken to learn Torah. And Ramey Shapiro says one time he remembers that they got to a new city and they arrived at the gates and his mother was looking. Where's the Rebbe? Where's the Malamed that I hired? And there was no Rebbe there. And she started to cry. And Little Mayor said, Mommy, don't cry. The Rebbe will come tomorrow. And his mother said, Mayor, Mayor, you don't know. A day that you miss from learning Torah, you could never get back. It's lost forever. And Ramey Shapiro said that he learned from that the importance of every day's learning. When he heard his mother cry, he said, wow, every day is so important. And it was then when he was a little boy, under Bar Mitzvah, it was planted in his mind, the idea of the Dafa Yaimi, that everybody should learn a daf a day and never miss a day. So you should know that even when you're very young, you could already be having ideas that one day could affect the whole world. And one of the lessons that we learned from Ramey Shapiro is how precious every day is. Another lesson that we learned from Ramey Shapiro, you know, Ramey Shapiro, when he made the Daf Yaimi, he said that if many Jews unite and do something together, it's extremely powerful. So therefore, Ramey Shapiro said, imagine if a Jew in Paris and a Jew in London and a Jew in America and a Jew in Poland will all be learning the same daf every day. So then they would be such an actress. They'll be so united. It will be so powerful in the eyes of Hashem. As he said, They will make one band, one union. And that's what the Tillam army is. When you all come on together, and you're going to say to Kapitlach Tillam, whether you're in Minneapolis, whether you're in Baltimore, whether you're in New York, whether you're in Lakewood, wherever you're listening from, if you're in California, in Florida, and you band together, we're walking in the footsteps of Ramea Shapiro. There's another lesson that Ramea Shapiro taught us, one that you should always remember. There's an interesting medrash. The medrash says, what's the most important posik in the Torah? It's a very unusual question. Every person can do it. But what's the most, the most fundamental pasuk in the Torah? So one opinion is, you have to you should love your friend like yourself. 
Another is Shema Yisrael Hashem Alekeinu Hashem Echad. To listen that Hashem is our God and Hashem is one. But then there's a very strange third opinion. That the most important Pesach in the Torah is Es HaKeves HaEchad Tase Baboiker Ve Es HaKeves HaSheni Tase Beinu Aboyim you should have one sheep in the morning and one sheep in the afternoon offered in the base of Mikdash. This is called the Korban Tamid, which every single day of the year was brought once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Now how could this be the most important Pasuk in the Torah? And the answer is, because in life if we want to accomplish mm -hmm. things, the secret is to do it every day. Because when you do something without missing it, you accomplish big things. Let's say you know that Lashon Hara is so important to not speak Lashon Hara. So you take one of the books about Lashon Hara and you learn a halacha every day. Before long, you'll finish the whole book. If, if Ramea Shapiro said... If you learn, Shas is so big, there's 2,711 pages in Shas. But if you learn one every day, you're going to finish it. It's going to take seven and a half years, but then you finish Shas from cover to cover. People learn two Mishnas a day, and then they finish Mishnayas from cover to cover, all of Shas, in six years. Whatever we do every day, if if you give something to tzedakah every day, it adds up incredibly. It's unbelievable because you're giving a little bit every day. I want to talk to you a little bit since I, I, I'm amazed at the group of people that are listening here. I want to talk to you a little bit about what it means that you say to them. You know, there was a time before you were born where the Arabs, Yamach Shemam, were attacking Eretz Yisrael with missiles. They were called Scud missiles. And they were shooting them deep into Eretz Yisrael. And those Scud missiles had a little cap on them. And they were afraid in Eretz Yisrael that the Arabs would put in some poison into the missile and cause people to be poisoned. So everybody had gas masks, and everybody had needles in case they needed needles. And they gave to the Mora, like Mora Tziri, they gave to the Moras, if there was 30 children in the class, they gave her 30 small gas masks, so that if the, there would be an attack, they would have to put on the children gas masks. So the Moras said, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put on all 30 children quickly enough gas masks. So they went to the great Paisik Hadar at the time, Rav Shleim Azam and Abba, and they said, you know, you should close the, the schools until the danger is over. And Rav Shleim Azam and Abba said, absolutely not. We can't. Because you know what our biggest protection is? Our biggest protection is the learning and the davening of school children. The world only survives because of the pure tefillahs of children. You should know that when a missile is shot in Eretz Yisrael, they have a defense called the Iron Dome. And the Iron Dome shoots down the missiles. But do you know what controls the Iron Dome? So you'll say, yeah, I know, Rabbi Weiss, a computer. No! It's your Tillim that controls the Iron Dome. It's your Tillim that helps. You should know what you're doing. I'll tell you, you know, sometimes I want, to, I want you to feel good about the Tillim that you say. Sometimes there's a siren in Eretz Yisrael. And when a siren goes off, they have to go to the bomb shelter. They have to go 
to sealed rooms. And sometimes the siren goes off at 2 o'clock in the morning. There was a siren that went off in Tel Aviv and 2 million people had to wake up 2 o'clock in the morning. And that means mommies had to wake up 7 or 8 or 10 children at 2 o'clock in the morning. And old 90-year-old people had to wake up 2 o'clock in the morning and go down uh, steps in the middle of the night sleepy. Your tillum, first of all, helps that there shouldn't be such a tax. And if it, there is, that they should be safe. You know, Rav Miller, Rav Avigna Miller used to say, Karov Hashem lechol karov, Hashem is close to all those that call him, lechol Hashem yikru'u ve'emes, to all those that call in truth, what does it mean to call in truth? Of course it means that we believe that we're talking to Hashem. We're not talking to the wall. But also, Ramilla said to call in truth and not in need. You don't need anything. You're doing it for other people. Oh, Hashem loves that. Hashem loves that you're calling to Him, not because you personally need something, but you're calling in truth. For your brothers and sisters in Eretz Yisrael, oh, is that beautiful. But I'm, giving, I'm going to give you an idea. It's an interesting idea. Of course, the say, saying of Tillam is a great thing, even if we don't understand what we're saying. But I understand that the Tillam army says about seven different chapters of Tillam over and over again. You should try together with your father or your mother or an older brother or older sister to learn what the tilla means. Because then if you learn what the tilla means, then you'll say it with much more feeling, which much, much more of a bren, we call it in Yiddish, much more of a passion. I'll give you an example. Tonight we're going to say Kapitel Chaf. And there we're going to say Elev Arechev, the Elev Asusim. They come with their tanks and they come with their cavalry. They come with their guns. Vanachnu, but we, Beshem Hashem, Alekeinu Nazkir. We come with mentioning Hashem our God. That's our power. That's our champion. Now, if you know what it means, oh, does it make a difference? Shelam Alois. I lift my eyes to the mountains. May I in Yavoy Ezri, where will my help come from? Ezri may im Hashem. My help comes from Hashem. O say Shemayim Vaaretz, who makes the heaven and earth. What does that mean? I'm going to tell you something incredible. I was sitting once with a person that had cancer, Loyalena. And the cancer that they had had no cure. The doctors didn't know how to cure it. And the, the person who was sick looked at me and said, there's no cure. So I said, let's say Tillam together. And when we got up to Ezri me in Hashem, my help is from Hashem, Ose Shemayim Vo'oretz, the maker of heaven and earth, I explained to her that how did Hashem make heaven and earth? He made heaven and earth, yesh mayayin, something from nothing. If Hashem could make the whole world and the sun and everything from nothing, He could, of course, cure a person even though the doctors say there's no cure. Because Hashem made the whole world something from nothing. When we say Tillam, and we unite, and we think, Hashem, please, let a soldier not be shot. Let all of the soldiers that are children be returned home to their parents and be returned home to their husbands and wives. Let the hostages that were taken be saved and let them be safe and okay. Let all the people who don't have enough money because their husbands are fighting in the war and not making money for them. Let them be able to make a good Pesach. Let them have enough for what they need. 
And at the same time, when you're saying these to them, you could also say it for yourself as well. Right? Because it says, whoever prays for other people, and they also need success, whether it's in school, whether with friends, on tests. That person is answered first. And in the merit of so many of you giving your, your time for your brothers and sisters, may Hashem bless all of you and all of Klal Yisrael with Hatzlach and Ruchnius and Agashmius. May we see Shalom al Yisrael, safety for Jews all over the world. And the BS girl said that, Bimhera Vyamena.